What's up guys? This is how to build a DIY board rack. Here's what you'll need. Two 1x1x4.5 foot long planks, a 1x1x28 inch long plank, two 1x1x19 inch long plank, seven half by one inch by 14 inch long planks, a 26 by 16 inch ply board, about nine square feet of carpet, a tape measure, electric drill, and some long wood screws. 10 L brackets just for additional support. First, attach the feet to the floorboards, leaving about two inches at the back for stability. Then screw the vertical post into the feet at the end of the floorboard. Don't do it how I'm doing it here. Instead, use L brackets. Way more supportive and way easier. Next, attach the top horizontal bar to complete the main frame. Then, screw in the board slots from the back, placing them about 4.6 inches apart. It doesn't need to be perfect though. Reinforcing it with more L brackets as you go. Now cut a piece of carpet to cover the entire floorboard. I didn't have a staple gun, so I simply grabbed a hammer and used staples simply hammering them in to attach the carpet to the wood. This will protect the tail of your boards from any dings. Next, cut 7 4 inch by 14 inch carpet pieces and wrap them around the board supports, securing them with staples as well. Then cut 6 5 inch by 5 inch carpets and wrap them around the spaces in between the board supports. Finally, you're done with your board rack. Mine turned out a bit lopsided and wobbly, but was functional overall. Honestly, the only reason building this was worth it is because I got a lot of these materials for free. So unless you have a bunch of scrap wood, I would just save yourself the trouble and buy one from Amazon. With that being said, make sure you like this video. I got more stuff coming soon, so make sure you subscribe.